Hello, everybody. I just figure I'll just uh, share another penny drop moment with you. Things that have been on my mind. In this year of 2022, we're all finding ourselves at a crossroad. And we're going to have to make some tough decisions. But some of those decisions will be tough for some people and it'll be easy for others. But there's something to consider. I learned a long time ago what it means to not live with regret. Some people think living with regret is not taking that job or not marrying that person or something like that. And perhaps it is. But I can simplify it even better than that. To live without regret requires one thing. It requires being true to yourself. Now, what does that mean? I'm going to say it as plainly as I possibly can. When you do something that you do not want to do, even though you have a whole list of reasons why you should do it, but in your heart you don't want to do it, and you do it anyway, you are going to regret it. Why? Because you compromise against your own self. The opposite is true too. When you don't do something that you really don't want to do, but you do it anyway, because there's a whole list of reasons why you should, and you compromise yourself, knowing you didn't want to do it, you're going to regret it. There is one thing I have learned in my life is, people never regret doing the things they really wanted to do in their heart. And people always regret doing things that they did not want to do. If you want to stay true to yourself, you have to listen to your own inner guidance. Now, unfortunately, in 2022, there are a lot of people on this planet who's going to live with regret because they're allowing somebody else's reasons for the choices that they are making and they are transgressing against themselves and their own heart and they're going to live with that regret there are people being coerced being bullied all sorts of things i mean it's on full force these days and they are making choices based upon outside influence. That is, everything and everyone outside of their own self for the choices that they are making. And even though it may seem like a good idea, even though you may keep your job, you might go on that holiday, you may have a bit of money in your hand, you may think you're going the easy route, the comfortable route. And you may even benefit and may even gain some success in a worldly standard. But one thing is true. You can never lie to yourself. I don't care. You could try to fool yourself. You can say, okay. I probably should have stood up there, but look, I got a raise in this job and there's lots of people who are losing their job. Or I could have, I could have, you know, made my children stay at home instead of sending them to the school. But of course, an education is more important. So I got them their, their mask and I gave them the jabs and I sent them to school. Even though in your heart, something inside you may be saying, don't do it. And let me tell you something. Everything in this world is temporary. 
Nothing lasts forever. Every th relationship you will ever be in, every job you have, every place you live, whatever amounts of money, all of that is temporary. All of it is subject to change. But one thing will not change is your inner self. If your inner self said yes to something today, it will say yes to the same thing 50 years from now. If it says no to something today, it's going to say no 50 years from now. And if you're not living with it, you will feel that pain of regret. And let me tell you something. That's a very, very sorry feeling to feel. We've all been there. I should have done. I could have done. Why didn't I do it? When you are true to yourself, that's how you get inner peace. It doesn't matter what storms are blowing. It doesn't matter who's shouting. It doesn't matter what's going on outside of yourself because you have peace inside of yourself. That's how you retain inner peace. By being true to the core of your own soul. You cannot live your life and be true to yourself by following somebody else's directions, catering to somebody else's wants and needs and desires, somebody else's mandates, somebody else's laws, somebody else's anything. You have to listen to the, so the law of your own soul. That's the divine God is within you. Nobody have no crystal ball. Nobody knows you better than you know yourself. And if you ain't listening to yourself, then you certainly ain't no point in blaming them. Because the only thing they're going to tell you, and I can tell you what they're going to tell you. They're going to say, well, if it meant that much to you, what you listen to me for in the first place? And you know what? They're right. Have you ever heard those words before from somebody? You said, well, I was listening to you. They said, what you listen to me for? If it meant that much to you, that's a, ooh, that's a hurting feeling. It's like someone took a hand as big as a hundred of them and slapped you right upside your head. It ain't nothing you can do about it, but take it because it's true. What did you listen to them for? So going forward in your life, if you don't want to live with regret, no matter what happens in your life, there is nothing like inner peace. And the only way you retain inner peace is to be true to yourself. That's what it means to be true to yourself. And you will not live with any regrets. Because whatever, your, whatever decision you make, you know that in your heart, it is well. And you leave the rest in the divine source hand. Because it knows way more than you do. It knows tomorrow, next year, the next 10 years, the next millennium. You don't know. All you have to do is be true to yourself. Follow the message in your own heart, in your own soul. Trust it. And you will live a life with no regrets. Well, that's all I have to say. Y'all take care of yourself now. And God blessings upon you all.